Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to the tutorial section of Yoga Body. I'm going to show you full locust in this tutorial. So full locust is the most difficult exercise in the Yoga Body workout series. It's extremely difficult, even for me. Sometimes I can't even do it. And it takes a ton of core strength and a lot of body control to do it. So I want you to, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you multiple progressions to work into this. Because if you were to attempt to do what you see me do in the video without knowing what to do, you would probably, you might end up hurting yourself and you might just get really confused and discouraged. So again, I'm gonna show you some progressions. So full locust is found in Bikram yoga. Bikram, sorry, Bikram yoga. And it's, it's, a, it's kind of a, it's an evolution off of cobra pose. It's a back bend. It works on lower body engagement. Um, it works on a ton of core, just like Cobra, except we're changing up the variation a little bit. So you can keep Cobra in mind as you're doing it. So Cobra, we would have our hands under our shoulders like so. For full locust, you're going to bring your hands under your body with your palms facing the ground. <coughs> now your pinkies are touching one another, and you can't really see me here, and there's not really anything I can do for you to see, to, to, to help you see. But my goal here is, right, my pinkies are touching one another, my forearms are facing the ground, and I wanna lengthen my chest forward as much as I can. Now from here, it's all about the leg engagement. I'm gonna keep my face down into the ground at first. Now I wanna lift one leg, point the toes, internally rotate the thigh, and that's how the leg engagement should be. So the next part is doing the other leg, just making sure you've got that in place, lifting the leg, pointing the toes, internally rotating the thigh. From here, you're going to lift both legs and point the toes, internally, rot the thigh, internally rotate the thighs, and press your toes back. You want to, at the same time, be using your core strength to protect your spine. Your goal here is all about length, so it's not about height, it's not about getting as as tall as you possibly can. It's not about lifting your legs up as much as possible. It's about pressing your legs back, getting them away from your hands, and then starting to lift. You need length before you can get depth. And that's the same with any yoga posture. It's especially true in this one to avoid any, get any pain or injury in your back. So again, one more time, hands go under your body, <sighs> face is into the ground, so my lips are actually resting into the ground. Don't pay attention to me because I have to actually lift my face so I can talk into the microphone. But normally my chin is, face is into the ground. And I wanna get my elbows as close together as possible. So I'm using my forms a little bit here, but it's mostly, mostly all in the core. Now again, lifting the legs, pointing the toes, and then from here, squeezing my legs together. And now the big part is getting all the way up, like so. <clears throat> but it's all core, and it's all pressing your legs back as much as possible. So it's not just pressing. <sighs> that one's hard. Very hard. So it's not just about pressing it's not just about pushing up, it's about getting your legs back, getting length, and then pressing up. That's full locust. Again, probably the most difficult exercise in this workout series. Um, but if you can work on it, if you can master it, you will have an extremely strong core and a very strong spine. So I'll see you on the full workouts.